Street after street of Gaza City decimated, rubble in this Palestinian territory stretching as far as the eye can see. This video taken from a hospital window shows mushroom clouds billowing in the air. After Israel's defense forces unleashed relentless missile attacks around the clock, this assault striking docked ships at a Gaza port. Israeli authorities say they're targeting Hamas terror hubs, but innocent civilians have been killed as a result. Video shows rescue crews pulling a survivor from debris in Gaza. And across the border in Israel, air raid sirens ringing as Hamas terrorists fire another barrage of rockets into the south. The IDF telling ABC News that they have regained control over the area adjacent to the border with Gaza. We do have a lot of ground troops in this area. We have a lot of tanks and we're prepared for anything. And this is the area where we're going to be presenting ourselves and finishing this battle. But admit it is possible some Hamas terrorists may remain. These armored jeeps are going towards where we've been hearing this incessant gunfire. Which is what our Matt Gutman seemed to find after being allowed into the area while live on The View. We have to leave. Why, are, why? What's going on? Matt had to be rushed out by Israeli forces due to a security threat. We were in this town. It was called Kibbutz Kfar Aza earlier today where we saw the evidence of this horrific massacre. Dozens of people killed and Israel had just tried to gain control of it, but as you can see, they do, they do not have control of the situation right here. President Biden addressing the situation this afternoon. This is an act of sheer evil. More than 1,000 civilians slaughtered, not just killed, slaughtered in Israel. Among them, at least 14 American citizens killed. Parents butchered using their bodies to try to protect their children. Stomach-turning reports of being babies being killed. And the IDF now saying it is engaging with Hezbollah on Israel's northern border, raising fears of a possible second front. In Ezdelik ABC News, Tel Aviv, Israel.